Samsung Galaxy S25. I'm going to do the complete teardown of this device. Look what's inside. The device is off. The first thing that I'm going to do is to hit the back of this device and then start the removal process of the back glass. So for that, I'm going to use my heat gun in order to hit the back. This should be enough for me to start the removal process of this pack glass. So now trying to pull and have a small gap. As you can see, there is a small gap already and I just need to insert a guitar pick, then continue detaching the back. So when the back glass is at the right temperature, you're not going to have any issues starting removing the back. So while doing this, make sure that you do not insert the guitar pick far inside to avoid touching any component that may lead to damage to your device. This should be enough for me to remove the back of this device. So, just doing this and the back has been removed. Very good, the back is out. Here's the back of this S25. So right now what I'm going to do is disconnect this flex cable. This one is the flex cable for this thing, the wireless coil, which is going to charge your device wirelessly. So disconnect that cable. The device is off. Then after I have done that, I can undo the other end of this cable. Make sure that you come here and peel it so removed here is the battery of this S25 so trying to do it this way is going to damage this cable that's why I said you should come here and start peeling this part. So after this, you can remove this individually by simply continue peeling this so that you remove it completely. It goes all the way to the top here. So be careful be gentle and that's it it's out wireless charger of this galaxy s25 so now the next thing to do is to remove this metallic plate which is covering the battery cable All the screws have been removed. I can simply do this to remove all the screws and also the metallic plate. You can see you have access to all the flex cables here. One, two, three, four, and these two. And here is one screw holding on the camera. Remove it. So all the screws are the same so you do not really need to keep track of which one is which since all of them come from this metallic plate. So
So set aside these, make sure that you do not lose them. The next step is battery cable removal. For the battery cable, do it with your finger or you can do it with a plastic tool in order to avoid any type of short circuit damage. Easily do it with the finger. The battery cable is disconnected, so we are free to remove anything out of this Galaxy S25. Next thing, in order to replace the battery of this device, you need to remove the battery cable, then remove these covering the battery, these cables, and then you can decide to remove these also in order to have enough space to work on the battery. But with this Galaxy S25, you can do it very easily since the design of the battery installation and removal has changed. You do not really need to remove all these cables because you're not going to struggle in the removal process of the battery. So let's remove this and test what I just said. Two, three. Then now for the battery removal, it is very easy. Peel off this side, this one, that one, and that one. After you peeled off all this plastic, you can simply toss the battery out. Very easy. First one is out. All the plastic covering the battery have been peeled off and set aside. Next, you can simply do this and remove the battery. As you can see, the battery is out. Here's the battery of the Galaxy S25. Very, very easy to remove due to this new design implementation for the battery installation and removal. Very easy, extremely easy. You do not have to fight with the battery and you can even leave the cables in and do your battery removal. So the next step for this is to remove all the screws here and then disconnect the flex cables that are attached to the bottom portion of this S25. So now simply put your finger here and pull to remove the loudspeaker which contains the, the loudspeaker. The loudspeaker is this one, this plastic and the speaker. After that, I can simply disconnect this cable. This one. All the cables have been disconnected. Next step is to remove one, two screws and remove the charging module. Before removing the charging module, make sure that you remove the SIM card tray. Charging module removed. You can see it has the port for the USB-C and the SIM card reader. The bottom portion is completely empty. There is nothing else to remove here. And then we can concentrate our effort on the top. Next step is to remove this plastic, which is also the front speaker.
okay what I should have done was to disconnect this cable first so it should be like this then I come here disconnect this cable then remove the plastic with the front speaker the first thing that I did was not the correct way and it might damage the cable so do not do that the next step is to remove the one screw two three get access to the motherboard So this is the 5G antenna that was here. There is no 5G antenna on this side. Like they did it for the previous Galaxy S devices. So starting with the S25, you have only one 5G antenna on top here. The next we'll be removing this, the front camera. So after that I can simply lift the motherboard and remove it completely out of the frame. From here, if you want to replace one of these cameras, you can do it. You simply need to disconnect the cable for the camera that you want to replace and install the new camera. And here is the back. You can see the ultra wide is here with one cable. The main camera, 50 megapixel, is here with one cable also. And the third one, 50 megapixel, also one cable. Very easy to replace. Just remove the camera and put the new one in. Motherboard of the S25, really small relative to the body of the device. You can even put the whole motherboard inside the battery. So here is the frame of this Galaxy S25. You have this one. In order to remove this, you will need to use a blade, they use some type of glue. This looks like hot glue, so it is not very easy to remove. You need to cut it. You do this, press to cut the, blue, uh, the glue, press to cut the glue and try to pry it out. That's what you need to do. And you're going to remove the front facing camera. The buttons are here. This is the contactor for the buttons. This one with all this. Most of the frames are going to come with the buttons already attached. That's the frame that I prefer to get. And also they might get the front facing camera attached to it. So if I were to buy a new screen or I need a new screen for this Galaxy S25, this is what I will get. This one with maybe the front facing camera is not attached but i will get this one because replacing the glass alone do it at home is nearly impossible you might not be able to do it so this is why i recommend getting a screen and frame if you want to replace the screen of your galaxy device it is much easier than trying to replace the glass yourself if you find a shop that can do the glass alone, it is going to be less expensive than getting a screen and frame together.